Hi guys, how are you? So nice to connect to you. So welcome to this channel. Welcome to this video. My name is Laura from pleadinghealer.com. And today we're going to do another review video. I'm not sure if I'm going to call it new age review or just a review of this alien channeler called uh, Gigi Young. And uh, she's kind of been on the list for a little while too. I wanted to bring her on because she's a little bit different from the other ones. And you'll see why once uh, we get into it, you know, once we get into that one video that I want to review with you guys. But basically, Gigi Young has 100, more than 100,000 subscribers. Uh, her total account is 392 videos. So, uh, you know, like, I don't know, the last time I was kind of checking in on her, I think it was like 2020, she had like 60,000 subs. So she grew a little bit over those years, not as much as Elizabeth, April, Lori Ladd, Phil Good, Magenta Pixie, all those people who all of a sudden bounced onto 100,000 from one year or within six months to another. So her growth rate was a little bit less than that. She doesn't get as many views as the other ones do either. Um, you know, while I'm reviewing this, it's going to go out later than I'm reviewing it. But while I'm reviewing it, she had some videos on aliens, who built the pyramids and all of that stuff. So they're getting like 20,000 views or whatever, 14,000 views. Not really a whole lot for someone who has 100,000 subscribers. I just want to point that out too. I already kind of noticed that with Bridget Nielsen as well, but it's still enough to confuse people, to bamboozle their minds. It was a bit harder to find a video. A lot of these people just put like one minute long videos on there, which I don't think is satisfying enough to review. Or they put these longer ones like interviews or whatever on there that are like an hour long or 45 minutes long. She even has one that's like two hours long right here. I'm not really sure what exactly she talks about it and that it's like a life q a i guess is what it says so the alien one aliens and spiritual developments uh angel demons atlantis the advanced technology emotions by gg young uh that one's only 17 minutes long however i'm not sure we'll complete it because these videos are very hard to watch they're full with bs and they're full with dangerous terms and dangerous concepts that can really mislead people uh, to such a degree that people who don't have a whole lot of discernment, you know, they watch these videos and they probably think at the end of it that they're these aliens or uh, that they're somehow in 5D or whatever. So it can be quite dangerous. Um, and that's exactly why we're doing these videos. We're not doing them for, you know, to get back to these people somehow. I personally couldn't care less about Gigi Young or Elizabeth April or Lori Ladd or all these other people. But what I do care about is um, this trap that they're creating, you know, the new age trap that they're creating for these people and also the entities that are controlling these type of people, which you see very clearly in a few of these new age handlers. So I do believe Gigi Young could be a part of that entire thing, obviously, because her channel blew up to that degree. And she's really not creating a whole lot of videos. You know, she's not creating videos like every week. She creates them a few times a month, which is okay. But once again, so going into her website uh, about Gigi. In 2006, a fashion model on contract in Japan, yada, yada, yada. So she used to be fashion model. You know, I personally am familiar with the fashion industry here in New York City, uh, which is one of the largest international ones out there. And the fashion industry is highly, I want to say reptilian for the lack of a better word, similar to the acting industry too, just different. Uh, it's obviously all about your looks. You, you're not supposed to have a personality as a model, really. Um, when you're a top model or supermodel like Claudia Schiffer and all these other personalities, you basically just pushed up there, you're handled by other people. Uh, you do have handlers as a supermodel. I've seen that very strongly in these people's energy fields. So it's really not the glitz and glamour field that they want to sell you. Somehow she was a fashion model, which makes me think maybe she was kind of dunked into it back then already, or she kind of got a whole lot of reptilian energy entity attachments onto her field back then. 
And then they kind of dragged her into the new age or whatever you want to call it, which she kind of, it's confusing because she kind of says she's not part of the new age, but she talks about new age concepts. So it's very, very confusing to be honest with you. You'll see why in the video that we're going to air. Um, so, you know, all of a sudden she had like a deep meditation. She found to herself, blah, 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 like just a typical BS that they feed you, you know, the same with people who are saying, oh, I've been doing it for like 20, 30, 40 years. Or I've been doing it from the day I was born. Like I highly doubt they've been doing the same stuff over and over again with the same results, but whatever. So she created her channel in 2008 and then she had a private consulting practice. So she was giving misleading readings probably. And then she stopped giving readings. This is another thing I started noticing the same with Bridget Nielsen, the same with Elizabeth April, the same, I think with Lori Ladd too. All the, and Magenta Pixie for sure. Also Feel Good Life is not really giving personal readings anymore. But with all of these teachers, they're not giving personal sessions anymore. Like, wouldn't you just want to charge $3,000 a session if you're able to? I mean, just putting that out there, you can basically yank the price up as much as you want. But like these people are actually in a position where they can charge whatever amount they want. You know, similar to like Shaman Durek and all these other people who might should be dissected in the future too. Like he's charging like a thousand or 2000 for a session at this point, but he still is giving sessions. You know, all these other people are not giving sessions, including her. It makes you wonder why. Maybe because some people started calling them out on their BS and saying this is a misleading reading. And then they were like, okay, well, how, are, how are we going to earn our money now? Oh, through courses, of course, which is always a way of income. So memberships courses is always uh, for them a way of income. You know, it's also for other people, obviously, but it's always so fascinating to see how, they, how the shift occurs from personal readings to some other passive income that they can create. And that's certainly the case with her. So Gigi Young, without further ado, let's get into this video. I kind of already sped it up to uh, 15 seconds or so because there was like distracting music in the beginning. And I'm gonna put my microphone in a good position so that you can hear it. She personally is actually using a microphone, which is so great to finally come across someone again, who's actually taking their video equipment uh, very serious, you know, unlike all these other new agers, except for Bridget Nielsen was the other one who had proper equipment, but all these other ones are just randomly, you know, without a proper microphone, just putting it up there. And I'm just like, okay, how are we gonna review them? <laughs> but yeah, okay, so let's just see. This is, I think she's taking questions or whatever. Go ahead. Um, so as many of you are probably aware, I do not share the popular new age or pop spirituality view of interdimensionals. I'm so confused. She's legit talking about new, like the only thing she's talking about on her channel is new age stuff. So she wants to separate herself, be more special saying, oh yeah, I'm not a popular new age or like, I'm not a new age anymore. I think that's also something Phil Good did, right? Like he's all of a sudden, he's not in the new age anymore, but he's still talking about guides and everything. I understand that very well because that is where I cut my teeth. That is how I personally entered the scene. So that's something that I understand, but I don't adhere to these popular ideas about aliens and interdimensionals. So from what I... It's so funny because she's making most of her YouTube uh, income off of those topics. So, you know, she's putting aliens and everything in the thumbnails and in the in the foot, uh, you know, in the title and everything to attract those type of people. But then she wants to separate herself like something really doesn't make sense. Right. This is what I'm trying to say. From, from what I know, every single that's like me putting a video out there, 5D Ascension, which at this point, you know, I wouldn't do, but just in order to get like uh, some, some trigger stuff, like some people coming my way and to kind of just put them in a different direction, right? Single <laughs> alien that we see or every single interdimensional that we see. And the more appropriate word is interdimensional. Alien... Yeah, I'm also wondering because, you know, once other people started doing these review videos, like Tony Sayers is a huge name. He does a lot of these review videos. Um, he, he talks a lot about how he doesn't believe in aliens. He thinks more it's interdimensionals. And I do agree with him to a certain degree. Um, and I, I kind of find that these people, once other new agers are being called out on their BS, they 
people like her retract her words, uh, similar with Magenta Pixie too. She started retracting on a lot of things because she got called out, called out on it. So they start retracting that, oh, I, I wasn't talking about aliens, I was talking about interdimensionals. And it's like, you're still talking about the same bullshit though. You're still misleading people with your concepts. And um, fundamentally suggests that that being is something different than us. Alien and extraterrestrial suggests that that being that we see that appears on our planet and this is why I wanted to review her because she's basically implying that you are the alien, you are the ET. Is different than us fundamentally at its core. And we have to be very, very careful with language because language forms our mind. Right. Also, the way that you're putting your videos out there you can actually put spells and attachments onto people. Gigi Young, just want to put that out there too. Which then forms our spirit, okay, on this plane. So... It is not. on this on this plane. So in this dimension is what a new ager would say. Alien. These beings are not alien. These beings are not extraterrestrials because they're not fundamentally different or other than us. Yeah. So this is like, you know, actually, she starts off pretty strong with all the deceptions here because I can debunk so much about her sentence already. So she's basically implying, oh, we're all aliens. We're all we're like none of us are human and, and yada, yada, whatever. Whereas people like Elizabeth April are like, oh, it's all about our humanness. But she's basically straight on to the point telling you you're an alien and uh, go to the alien hybridization program probably or whatever. They're not even really coming from another star system. They're coming from another time. No. And star systems and planets re really represent to us fundamentally another time of ourselves because every- That's just, I feel that all of these concepts are just to bamboozle people even further, like to really confuse the heck out of them even further. You know, does it matter? that they're coming from a different time or stars. What really matters right now is that we're stuck here. We did not volunteer to come here. How the heck are we getting out? And none of these people are talking about that. They're all, they're always talking about you volunteered to come here. You're an alien, you're this and you're that, whatever. Everything is interconnected. That is the point of spirituality is to understand exactly how as a science, everything in the cosmos is in. Now she's putting science in there, which we all know main, mainstream science also currently promotes the jibbity jabbity Jews. So that's so much to science, right? They're connected through a very precise system of cosmic development, okay? <laughs> all these trigger words like cosmic development, I'm cosmic, cosmic this, cosmic that. I was really into that too. You know, people calling themselves like cosmic channelers, cosmic this and that. So that's what the new age does to you the cosmic stuff. It's always about cosmic. You know, when you actually talk about this with regular people who are completely away from uh, any of the spirituality, they kind of laugh at you. <laughs> They're like cosmic, like, what do you woo woo, whatever. Not that that's right or wrong. I'm just saying that, you know, it really does sound like you're in a cult somehow with the cosmic word. So interdimensional beings are, are, are what we are seeing. The gray aliens are interdimensional beings. <laughs> So the only interdimensional like AI beings that really exist are kind of grays and they keep saying, I mean, sure, you have reptilians and everything too, but they're kind of all the same because they're all by your government. Okay. They're all controlled by your government. They spy on you and they put these masks on pretending they're Pleiadians, Arcturians, whatever. So the only thing that you have to know is grays exist and they're really effing with you in the astral. Reptilian looking beings are interdimensional beings. The myriad of humanoid forms that we are seeing are interdimensional beings. And this is so funny. You can actually see her eyes like that. And that's kind of what I mean when you slow-mo them, you see so many entities in their field, like similar, like I'm seeing a whole bunch in her field right now, but that's just me, obviously. Um, so try to slow-mo it. Use a program where you can slow-mo everything. You'll see so much in their energy field. Now, she's basically implying there's no humans, we're all aliens. How is that different from the new age? Like legit question. That's how we should refer to them because that acknowledges fundamentally that they are primarily another aspect of ourselves. Yeah, the, uh, aliens are not another aspect of myself. I'm an aspect of myself, me, myself, and I, okay? No higher self, 
no alien self, no this and this and that. I'm not interested in calling on, on all these other entities like Pleiadians or Turns, whatever, because I mean, this is exactly how soul scattering and soul pieces get you know, scattered all over the astral because you're so confused, you're giving your power away to all these weird astral beings. And meanwhile, what you need to really work on is calling back all pieces of your soul and pulling the back into your heart center, which is basically the, the, where you connect to your own inner self, your own inner soul, which a lot of people don't know, or maybe they do know at this point after watching my channel, but that's really why the heart is also the most targeted area. And it comes around a lot of sessions that I do personally. So, uh, work on your heart, work on calling back your soul pieces don't give your power away to random entities that say they're your alien self or whatever. But they are not other that they have a secret in their existence that has to do with us and our ability to see them, our ability to perceive them is all about that. So now people are going to be like, okay, let's call in all these entities. Let's do this journey or let's do this meditation and see what we can get. And, and this is just awful. This is plain awful. This is the exact same the new age is promoting basically. Understanding what that secret is, but this has been completely inverted in the new age and in modern spirituality to a materialist. She really wants to set herself apart from the new age, but she's really not different at all. She still has to rely on all these alien things. She's not relying on her own self. She probably thinks she's an alien somehow, the way she looks. She could be an alien. She could be an insectoid. That's what I see in her. If you want to talk about aliens, she's like a reptilian insectoid or whatever. She's not one of those higher vibrational 10th dimensional beings. No, she's like a lower vibrational thing. If you really want to go down that far, right? I mean, this is me making fun of the, the terms she's using. But she really wants to set herself apart and create her own little thing here, whereas it's, it's not different from what other New Agers are saying. ...form, where that becomes another, that is primarily just from another planet, that has no real relation to us other than that we're under the same God system. God, bringing God in. Why don't you say source? Why are you feeding into the AI over God? That's uh, like another thing, you know, it's like when you feed into God, you're also feeding into their system still. This is a backwards and materialist ideology that is not true. And the belief in it will lead you into an increasingly more materialist Luciferian ex existence. So she determines it does that. And when you watch her video and you're bamboozled by her mind, you're going to conclude that's what it does. But yeah okay so it, it seems kind of dark what she's promoting you know we're three minutes in i'm already getting a pretty dark vibe from this person how we think about also she has like all that stuff in the background like all these esoteric books and and certain things like kind of like a witchy vibe is what i'm getting from her of these things defines us so it's very very important that we think about them in the way that they are most true okay so um, now to get to your question about whether interdimensionals have feelings. The easy All that, three minutes long, and now you're just getting to the question. Okay, so you have to put your entire agenda into that now. And the easiest and most simple way to interpret interdimensionals' um, ability to feel, which is essentially to be human. To feel is to be human. So now they're here. Okay. Wow. This is mind blowing. I, I mean, if you're not confused at this point, you will be confused by minute four or five. I can already guarantee you that. The moment. And if you're really literally feeding into this regularly, like a few times a month, you're part of a whole nother time. Like actually what I want to title this video is the master in brainwashing or something. Cause she's trying to really wash your brain. Right. That a human loses its ability to feel they turn, they degrade. Okay. Just like if a human being doesn't develop the ability to think at a certain point, we degrade it into apes. I don't think the ape story is actually true. The way they're trying to, you know, if you assume everything in the mainstream is wrong, the ape story is probably not true. So I'm a bit confused why she's even bringing that up. Okay. To an ape-like form. It was our inability to develop the, uh, the mind as the Atlantean epoch was coming on, that- 
Atlantis. So for people who still haven't gotten the memo, which I have videos on it, we're still in Atlantis. Atlantis never ended. So people who talk about, ooh, Atlantis, this, Atlantis, that, it's complete. They don't know what they're talking about. We're still in Atlantis. And that's why we're dealing with AI like her, who are trying to convince you you have to be a part of her brainwashing cult or whatever. Cause the deep- And you have to be an alien in a human form. Degeneration. With feelings, otherwise you're not worthy of her attention. Of the developing human form to materialize as an ape-like form. Okay, this was too much feminine energy and the inability to- I'm so confused by this monkey story. The monkey story is wrong. I I don't understand what she's trying to say with this. To develop the mind, which is more of a masculine force in the cosmos. Mm. Okay, so there's that degeneration. Now, where we are, we already have that phase. Where we are, the inability to maintain the feeling body as the mind is now developed also causes degeneration, but in a more futuristic way. So we actually begin to devolve into what you would see as the grays. I am so confused. Everyone knows the monkey story, every truther. I mean, everyone kind of has a brain at this point, I think knows the the monkey story is wrong. Now she's putting it up here saying, you're gonna evolve from a monkey to a human to a gray. So you get, you get her brainwashing. This is legit brainwash, And this is why I think it's important to do these videos because these people are legit trying to brainwash you with their concepts. You know, first it was Lori Ladd trying to put you in a constant victim mentality blah, that you have to get out and all of that. And then people like her who are legit trying to push this story onto you and maybe push you into the alien hybridization project. We don't know. We're only five minutes in. Or even other different types of gray beings that look differently, that are different heights, that have different noses, that have different looks, because- I don't care if there are a million different gray beings, don't give them energy and try to remove them. And that's all you need to know about them. Once the human being degrades or devolves, there's a desperation to stop that degradation process. You know, it's so interesting. What I'm noticing with her, and I haven't noticed it as strongly with the others, but I noticed it when I started reviewing Jordan Sather's website too, which I still want to make a video on him too. But my energy is like almost getting sucked away from me while I'm listening to her, meaning she, she's, she has this like vampire energy, this energy sucking energy that some of these new agers have, which I do think she's a new ager at this point. Um, and it's like energetically, they're feasting off of you. They're hooking into you while you're watching these videos. So you need to be aware, very much aware of that, what's going on, you know, energetically, I can feel it because that's, you know, I'm just so attuned to it at this point, because the more you practice it, the more you practice your, um, all of your intuition and everything, the more, you know, this, and the more, I mean, you know, people who do like healings almost every day, you feel this on a very strong level. And I can feel it on a very strong level. Like my energy is almost being drained while watching her video. So I'm not sure if we can go up to the full 17 minutes, but we'll try to do at least a little bit more. Because of the consequences spiritually and physically that happen are basically you don't exist in the same way anymore. So the first phase of panic for these groups is to steal the genetics of humanity to try to introduce themselves back into the life wave. So this is why... Yeah, and then she has that creepy image back there. It's almost like what she says doesn't even matter anymore at this point, as long as she gets people hooked in with her hypnotic stare. Uh, you know, like really the the empty stare that a lot of these new agers have that other people have pointed out too. There's basically nothing behind it. There's there's no soul or whatever in it. As long as she gets people hooked in, she can kind of suck your energy out. And this is interesting to notice that with her because I have never seen her before. I think it's probably because I knew intuitively there's something very wrong with this person. Why we see so many bizarre interdimensionals that look like different things because this is a pattern that has been happening for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. And they all come back and say, we're just an alien because they don't want you to know what they are. But fundamentally, these interdimensionals that were- Just these random pictures that you find online too. You know, I know I posted those pictures on my Instagram at one point, like four years ago. 
um, when I myself was really into the entire alien agenda and oh, all of us are alien and this and that, you know, let's channel all these entities. I find all these pictures she's posting, you just do a Google search and you'll find all of them. She's not even using like very creative pictures here. Seeing, um, especially the most common one is the alien grace. Well, I'll focus on that today. Um, these- Yeah, cause you're, maybe you're a gray, Gigi Young. These don't have feelings. So your question was, do other interdimensionals have feelings? So that is actually what defines the, the loss of the human form. So we're like six minutes in with the same question. I mean, at least she's being very elaborate with her brainwashing and her wishy-washy answer, right? The human form is the form of the cosmos. The current human form on earth that is organic is the embodiment of the cosmos. Right. So also another thing is she's not using a lot of hand movements, which is actually good. That works in her favor because Bridget Nielsen was like moving, like, like really, like I could barely even follow her words because it was so distracting the way she was. I mean, I used to do that in my videos too. That's why I know it's distracting when I watch them in hindsight. Um, so that's good. She's actually very calm when delivering her message. It has taken timeless Thumbs evolutions. Up. <laughs> of cosmic cycles to create the body that we have now that has not been destroyed by transhumanism or ex Ooh, transhumanism another term that new agers don't really know what it means allison mcdowell is another person you should follow i had an interview with her too she knows everything about that Cess of genetic mutation okay once you start going down the transhumanism route and the eugenics route of intense genetic mutation, you begin to lose your form. I'm pretty sure transhumanism has existed for the past thousands of years. It's just now slowly being revealed and people are waking up to that. We don't get to play God like that. We don't have the ability to do that at our level. It's, just, it's so weird because other new ages are making us believe we are God, right? So it's a bit strange what she's promoting. It's, it's very, it's dark witchy energy. That's what I'm getting from her. In addition to the energy sucking component, which I have to look away from her eyes at this point. I know her eyes are what's hooking people in. So now you start to get all of these beings that are losing their humanity quite literally because they're playing God and they don't understand the cosmic system that they exist in. They don't understand how it works. I'm going to go as far and say all of you are gods, but we've forgotten we're gods. And that's why people like her want to keep you down. We're all gods. Otherwise, they wouldn't want to keep us down like that. You know, we're able to really create the reality we want and desire. And it's our divine birthright to have that. But people like her and other AI beings are keeping us down. And she's probably part of that agenda. They don't want us to know how powerful we are and they're trapped in this divergent stream of evolution. It is the most important teaching of this time. We do not want to degenerate. <laughs> it is right in front of us. Yeah, the entire degenerate thing, that's a new concept. I'm kind of baffled by that. I'm not really sure what to think about it. It kind of just sounds like more effing with your mind somehow to confuse people further into her videos. The interdimensionals that have feelings are what we would describe as superhuman. So there are- Wow, superpowers, probably the Pleiadians. <laughs> interdimensionals that have been called many different things and they are actually superhuman. So these are- But it's not you. It's not you who's watching this video. Make sure that you get that message. You're just a regular human who's not supposed to degenerate are the um, uh, bodhisattvas, the- What? <laughs> she just made that word up. <laughs> like she just randomly Googled that word beforehand and she just had to remember it. The bodhisattvas, okay. All right, that's random. Didn't hear that one before in a new age video. These are maybe um, maybe that's something someone like Bashar would say. <laughs> um, sometimes appearing as masters, these will sometimes appear masters and slaves. Remember that. Here and earlier, the same with Reiki masters and all of that. That's why I hate the word master because it implies you're above someone and you're like a slave. There's like other people who are slaves, right? Their phases of development as the Nugians. 
Venusians. I do think she's really into that agenda. Yeah, a lot of New Agers who think they're high and mighty and they believe in the Sophia codes and Sananda and everything, they, they always use those words like the Venusians. <laughs> As Pleiadians. Pleiadians, you heard it. The planetary reference here is, is talking about a level of initiation in which they are coming to Earth with. Uh, Not that they are... But I think, why would they have to come to Earth if they're so high and mighty? They would already be here, right? I mean, it's a bit strange. It doesn't make sense. Or story. It literally from that, 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 that star system as much as it is their level of initiation in the cosmos that is embodied by that star system because that's how all mystery schools work. Uh, she's kind of looking behind maybe she has like a screen propped up where she's reading from but her eyes are like darting in different directions now yeah, i'm not really sure she even believed her own message there i like i personally know she kind of lost me after all the star system mentioning is you take on more and more cosmic energy as you evolve and at certain i think she likes to hear herself preach i think she's one of those new agers who really likes to hear her voice and preaching so that like the high and mighty ones that think they're God or whatever. There times that cosmic energy is identified and, and encapsulated in certain planetary spheres or stars. So they're letting you know their level of human initiation. <laughs> this is so confusing. Did anyone understand her message really? Because I don't think it's meant to be understood. I think it's meant to hypnotize you so that she can hook into you and siphon off your energy or whatever entities are in her field. They're not aliens, not even close. They are literally what you and I will one day become. It is Do you really want to become that, people? Like, just a serious question. I know I certainly do not want to become that. I want to get the heck out of here, out of this trap that they're creating. Is the initiation that we hope to all face. So these are great initiates. And just look at that picture right here. I mean, it's like, ooh, the chakras or whatever. I don't even know, like the, the holy circle i mean it's just wow mm -hmm. holy holy spirit probably and we call them angels <laughs> so the angels are ai beings that are going to keep you entrapped over and over again similar to the archangels and ascended masters too i actually have a video out if you want to watch it where i explain exactly what the angels are Every time you call upon an angel, you're making soul contracts with them. And it could very well be that you're not gonna get out of this matrix because of that. Because the moment you pass on over and you go to the white light tunnel, which is the false white light tunnel, you're being dragged over and over again into this reality. And so on the other side, these angels could come and be like, oh, but we helped you out when your mom almost died in an accident and you called upon us and protection and oh my gosh, and now, we have you. Now you got to sign the soul contract for life from lifetime to lifetime, and you're never getting out of here. That's kind of what the angels do. Okay. Now there are also fallen angels, which were. <laughs> yeah, which maybe you're a fallen angel, Gigi Young. Present the stream of the degenerate timeline, the grays, and the various different modified human beings. That do people actually believe? I mean, see, I'm always so baffled, like halfway through these videos, and this is why I can't watch a single of their videos to the end, because I'm like, like for at first it's this, and then that, and I'm like, I'm so baffled that people believe this narrative that they're dishing you, you know, on the table here. I mean, it's just, wow, wow. Are people really that gullible? That no longer have their holy sacred form. They're no longer human. Okay, that's a very serious issue in the cosmos. In the cosmos and the womb of the universe. So the <laughs> angelic humans that we... It's also, she's very slow in delivering her message. A lot of these new agers are very slow. The slower you talk, the more hypnotizing your voice is. And the faster you talk, the more dynamic you are, obviously. So you can't hypnotize people. You have to talk very slow. Call aliens, um, <laughs> but they're really just, traditionally they would be called angelic humans or interdimensionals. Um, they So like from the, the, that, the last nine minutes, I've gotten nothing out of this. I don't know about you guys. I mean, it's, it's entertaining, but it's also very dangerous what she does. Like a lot of these people are dangerous. feel so much deeper than even we feel. 
in anthroposophy, you can find more information on this about the development of the 12 senses. Wow. There's more than even five senses, okay? So we actually boy. feel more. We actually become more in tune with the mineral kingdom, the animal kingdom, the earth, other stars. We wow. Yeah. And some, some people say the star overlay is also you know it's just an overlay it doesn't really exist to that like if there's something behind that become more sensitive we become more in tune we become more harmonized but you need to communicate with the aliens otherwise you can't do that you can't do that by tapping into your own inner power inner knowing and intuition you have to channel these aliens for that okay and there are very specific initiatory processes that we can take to get there that will be introduced in the coming centuries, reintroduced if we can manage to get through this really crazy time. So when is this crazy time gonna end, G.G. Young? Because for the past 50 plus years, new agers have been telling us about the 5D ascension. Just wondering, is there a timeline? Obviously they never have a timeline. So to sum this question up, um, there, that was a weird glitch in, in sound. What defines at this point? I wonder if that was a message from her angels. <laughs> Just look at her eyes right now. You can already tell she's like super annoyed with her own life somehow. In time, <laughs> the degenerated timeline, the devolution timeline, the regressive timeline is literally mm -hmm. these interdimensional beings or this uh, divergent timeline of humanity. They no longer know how to feel. Yeah, it's all about the feeling. Also, her face looks very symmetrical. You know, it's almost like, I mean, if you're, you want to go into the clone body story, that's basically what it reminds me of. I'm not saying she is, but sometimes the faces don't look that, you know, they're asymmetrical. And with her, they're very symmetrical. She's also wearing a very strange necklace with the symbol on it. I'm not sure if it's a dragonfly or something. Maybe that's part of her, her insectoid alien agenda. That's why when people have these abduction experiences, they feel like they're just being used like cattle. <laughs> well, that's because it's true. They're being used by cattle. There's nothing good about alien abductions. They're just pieces of crap <laughs> to these different beings because those beings literally don't have the ability to feel empathy. They're incomplete. They're degenerated. Uh. Wow. All they have is advanced technology. That's all they have left. They sacrifice themselves to have technology. And by the way, the angelic forces, the angelic, not an angelic. Super. So she's like a promoter of angels or something. Very strange. Human ETs, the superhuman interdimensionals that we will one day uh, become at their level. They don't use technology. And this is the funniest thing about this whole phase that we're in, is when you get to that angelic stage of development in the cosmos, you don't use a spaceship. You don't have to. That's so strange. So there are a few truths to it, obviously. The entire spaceship agenda is government, psyoped, and all of that. But the way she's dishing it up, is it's, it's very psyopy in her own way, very dangerous. All of that entire impulse of development was brought inward. The kingdom of heaven is within. Kingdom of heaven, I'm not sure, is she like a religious preacher or a new age preacher? I, I'm not really sure, it's very confusing, these terms that she's using. They're part of like these different cult groups and she's all bamboozling them together. She's all mixing them in the same pot and dishing them up as her own teaching somehow. But there's nothing new about her teachings, like all of it is plagiarized, you know, or uh, taken from other people without credit um and it's like there's nothing new like there's nothing new i'm hearing from her other than this alien agenda crap that i'm just like well you're so special to be having this out there you know and this was possible after only within the last two thousand years <laughs> the entire two thousand year timeline is another bamboozling new age and religion psyop in my opinion moving forward we develop everything to happen within us okay we don't need a spaceship we, no, don't, we don't need genetic modification we don't need that 
But tell us what we need. I mean, you haven't really said that yet. That technology to a, this is all divergent timeline. Now her hand movement is getting quicker and quicker. So she's getting more excited or passionate or upset about it. Find dark stuff. When you truly develop in this cosmos to a higher level of evolution, you do. <laughs> so I get it now. Instead of going to New Earth or the 5D or the 7D, She's basically just saying higher evolution, but it's the same concept, right? It's the same else salvation and everything else. Do not need. Even my pet in the background was like sighing because she can't take this crap anymore. Just want to point that out. This is even boring for animals, Gigi. Physical technology to do things. It is not outside of us anymore. The great masters. <laughs> Sometimes I think you have to be like on drugs or alcohol or some, some sort of substances to even view these videos and really take them serious. Like I personally, I'm already like, I can't, like we're 12 minutes in, I can't even keep a straight face anymore, you know? So I don't know how people, are, how do people watch these videos who are really under the psyop? Like you really must be very under the psyop to believe this. The great buddy Sattvas. Maybe when you're high as a kite, you can watch these videos and constantly laugh about it somehow. I don't know. That guy humanity. They don't, they don't appear in a ship, you guys. They, they're not appearing in a UFO. Yeah, okay. Because they're incarnated here. They're your master and you're their slave. That's what you said, right? They, they, they literally can ride the cosmos, the great dragon of the cosmos, you know, uh, through their mind. Mm. Wow. That she was just making that up. They can write the cosmos through their mind. They can use that if they want. It's available to them, and they are guardians of very high level. And now they're high level guardians. Levels of technology so that humanity is destroyed. So the AI technology is what you mean. That's the only technology that they have. Themselves, but they're like relics of the past to them. They're relics of Atlantis when humanity did use this technology because everything was externalized to humanity because we had not gone through the initiation of the Christ in the Greco-Roman era. This is like the Christ program that they're putting on people. I, I don't know, this is very confusing. This is similar to like Lisa Renee, who Lisa Renee, by the way, she she really leads, leaves a residue uh, with people. I've done sessions with people where I had to go in and remove all the stuff that Lisa Renee basically put on them. So that's how dangerous these people are. Maybe that's why Gigi Young isn't giving personal sessions anymore. Which brought everything within. So everything was outside at that point, but we are no longer in that phase. So we no longer need that, but there's this huge echo, this huge impulse. It's still recapitulating that long after we've moved beyond it. And that's... I need to be like... I can't watch this like, I mean, this is like dragging on. Where you get the divergence. I, I think you need to be high to watch this, honestly. <laughs> the timeline. So maybe some people just do that. That's how they spend their time. I don't know. When you get to these higher levels of spiritual evolution, you don't use technology. You don't need it. You don't need a chip in your brain to be psychic. To tap into the no no that's you don't want a chip in your brain new you, you know who else promotes the brain chip elon musk promotes the brain chip i'm wondering where this is going this is so strange the Hashic records that's not, that that's actually splitting your consciousness to a degree that is very hard to get back wow so the first one who actually says the Akashic records are not so great that is correct they're all infiltrated at this point See how that's a mockery and an inversion of where we're genuinely going? <laughs> she really likes her, her BS here. You know, she looks at herself in the camera. She's like, what I'm saying is great and powerful. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually saying these words. This is clear because, and I just want to repeat it one more time, higher beings, advanced beings, they don't use technology like that it is available to them they do have it they can use it if they want to but again it's more of a relic 
so bamboozling. And that's the whole point of um, like Merkaba development and various things like that. The whole creation of technology in the Atlantean Eve. Now she promotes the Merkaba, like all of these sacred geometries, whatever. Again, opening up portals, loopholes, keeping you trapped. Merkaba is nothing else. Like, I mean, it's nothing. Was actually to there's nothing good about it. Understand how our inner system worked. That's why advanced technology is always a mirror of how our aura works and stuff like that, or how our bioenergy field works. But if you cannot turn inward and develop yourself through proper purification and initiation, you'll just continually seek to evolve externally. This is so confusing. This is the first time she's saying go inwards, but nothing about her message so far has implied going inward. And I'm pretty sure by inward, she means con consult your higher self. So it's not really going inward. It's just consulting all these other AI entities the way she probably does it. Currently through transhumanism, through technology, through spreading out into the cosmos, living off of various different planets like a parasite, never learning how to truly align with your inner self and therefore align with the harmony of the planet. The harmony of the planet isn't the planet ai though i mean it's yeah it doesn't make sense to you young sorry and therefore evolve with the life stream of the cosmos you're always outside of it because you can't make that flip inward that flip inward like a mirror so the mirror is also a portal just to let you know letting other things through is the divergent timeline that is what we're looking at and we must come to know this very, very clearly in the coming decades. We must come to know. So it's still gonna take decades and decades until you finally ascend into the 5D is what she's saying. So the difference between the organic timeline of life, which involves eventually no technologies at all, it's all done within. And the divergent timeline that just starts creating changing themselves, trying to change their DNA in order to become better and just working only upon the physical self, only upon the physical world, thinking that that's going to lead to some kind of superiority or advancement. But doesn't she seem like quite superior on her little stool over there with her witchy stuff in the background? I'm just saying. And it doesn't. Like body language says a lot. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Okay. So interdimensional that are angelic in their presence that are angels essentially that are on the i can't believe she's really promoting the angel agenda and people aren't like seeing through it at this point very strange okay angelic realm or the archangelic level of initiation whether they're actually an angel or just a human being that has risen to that level angels are ai and if you're implying humans are angels then humans are ai there's so much to that they have more feelings than we can comprehend <laughs> more sensitivities more abilities this is like really really hard to watch for someone who actually sees through these deceptions i hope you guys see through them i mean this is just pure insanity what this person's promoting feel than we can even comprehend we are fighting to get that back now mm. But I don't really see you fighting Gigi Young. I just see you putting out these weird, weird videos calling yourself not a new ager, but then talking about these bamboozling concepts. I don't see you fighting. The dark entities are the definition of a psychopath, but they're the definition of the narcissist. They are the embodiment of it. They have no. I always love when they use these psychological terms and don't really know what they're talking about feeling so when they abduct you they don't care and they can't feel they're actually taking people to get their feelings back to get their humanity back and that is the thing that people in the new age and various different spiritual circles that worship these entities that have bought into the lie will not ever you are so much better than everyone Gigi. or take serious you are a pure god we're all slaves <laughs> even though it's the most glaringly obvious sign something that is dark. the only feeling i get after watching her is that she's very dark so ladies and gentlemen 
thanks for watching. Uh, that was very weird. I watched it to the end, which is unheard of so far, but I was like, this is dangerous and we have to watch it to the end. I hope this helped somehow. Uh, I hope you guys understand what's really going on with these type of videos. I feel very drained after watching that. Probably got to remove a whole bunch of cords and attachments after watching this. Also got very, very hot, almost like a hell wrong here. If you guys are under the new age deception and you want all of that residue removed out of your field, I do give personal sessions, by the way. Everything's on my website, pleadianhealer.com. Let me know what you think about this video. Thank you so much for your support, everything you do. If you're new, subscribe to this channel and add to the list of new agers that we want to review in the future. So there's a very long, extensive list somewhere on my community tab. All right, guys, have a wonderful one. Enjoy your day. Embrace your humanness. Don't be converted to an alien or angel. I don't even know. Bamboozling. All right. Bye.